Hello and welcome, Silrace here with Heroes of the Storm and this is Support Sunday and I'm playing Brightwing. There you see the two team makeups and it's kind of nice, it's pretty similar on both teams. Although, to be outright honest with you, I don't really mind that you sometimes get very very skewed, very weird team compositions on either your team or enemy team or many times even on both teams. It doesn't matter to me because it just makes it so that I have to play better, I have to adapt to the situation and all other things. Map is Dragonshiren. So let's see how this works out. Also, I'm with Vala down in the bot lane and what do we do? Uh, um, Shield Dust would work. I guess. Let's take bribe. Let's take bribe. Why take bribe? Well, I am in bot lane for one and... Okay, Vala is going off, so I guess I'm laning alone then. Alright. Fine. Okay. This is gonna be a little annoying to lane alone against Sylvanas and stuff, but... Oh well. Oh well, oh well. So bribe. This game, uh, this map has couple mercenary camps, which are sometimes really annoying to take because you don't necessarily have time to uh, go for the merc camps uh, if you have to worry and okay uh, Vola is coming in and why not uh, if you have to worry about the uh, shrines at both ends of the map for the uh, dragon knight so taking bribe oh okay uh, the <laughs> Vala is going really aggressive it's been one of those Activate weekends where a whole lot of people are going very aggressive please please oh. All right, well, I'll have to try to save you a little bit at least. Anyways, um, we don't need it. We have the other one, and please, no, you <sighs> can't. I can't block body block the Kerrigan. Kerrigan is just too mobile. I just can't body block. But I can get that thing, little uh, regeneration orb. So not three guys down here. Well, at least I can pop down a little bit of damage. So as I was about to say, a uh, bribe at least allows taking a siege camp without with just basically walking over there and grabbing it because the champ is just two creatures and bribe gets two stacks so it works like that anyways anyways let's briefly talk about uh brightwing's uh, abilities while i am just playing here and whatnot so there is that bit and uh, blah, 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 blah. this is a bad uh, Bad try, you can do a whole lot of things with Pride Let's take Pride with Shield. Let's remember to try, try to remember to use it too. Um, I don't usually pick Protective Shield, but now we have a kind of similar team comp on both sides, except we have the Stealther. So, anyways, yeah, well, that Pride is almost out of mana. That's fine and stuff. And I can just try to push this lane. So, ability-wise, this thing, which is the little orb there, you see me and the other Brightwing lobbing at each other. It's a slow projectile. Okay, that Brightwing is out of mana. Now I'm all safe, in, in all honesty. There we go, lobbing projectiles all around the place. So, that thing has a AOE. It's an area effect ability with two... Um, circles around it because when you hit with the inner one it deals more damage than if you hit with the within the outer circle it is very slow projectile though so you have to be very good at aiming it and I don't claim to be yet I haven't played bribing quite enough to really be good at it so yeah the second ability is polymorph it turns the target into a critter of some sort and uh, that was kind of easy to read because the Brightwing went into the bush to hide. It's like, okay, um, well, the, the Brightwing completely changed playstyle, so something is up. And it's like, well, someone's probably going to gank, come gank my lane. So uh, a little bit of a tip, if you are wanting to get your ganks to work, you need to not change your playstyle. Oh, please stop going all ham, Mr. 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 Muradin Dolph here. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't keep you alive forever. So I mean, it was two versus three, so that was a little bit scary. If they had gone all in on the Muradin, I might not have been able to live because there is Kerrigan with a nasty stun combo. So the third ability of Brightwing basically uh, functions in such a way that it will block. Okay, okay, Muradin is going really, really aggro. Wow, people are really aggressive this weekend. Anyway, 
the third ability uh, allow blocks two basic attacks, essentially. Blocks two basic attacks. That's what happens when you cast it, and it's castable on any friendly, basically. So let's get this thing. So we get uh, at least one shrine. Fantastic. And Brightwing straight is... Well, it's a heal. Heals nearby a friendly and one not every five seconds for a small amount. So, yeah. And usually end up picking the talent which causes that heal to actually trigger when also using abilities. Because uh, don't you use abilities kind of often as Brightwing? Okay, um... Okay, let's get let's get this thing. Let's let's get this thing. Whoa. Okay. Oh, let, let's go up here. Let's go up here. All right. So that's about it. Right. So 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 so. Oh, okay. Uh, Will is dead. Oh well, that's fine. Oh, damn it! I forgot to actually capture the cap. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I bribed them, but they are now waiting to be captured still. Oh my bad, I thought I captured it. A little too over eager to use the Brightwing's mount ability, which I can now also quickly talk about. Oh, can I take Dragonite? I wanna take Dragonite, please. Uh, ha ha ha. Yes, alright. So, a little bit of a tip for anyone who happens to be playing uh, this particular map and is new and stuff. Um, when you get Dragon Knight, do not team fight with it. It is really bad for that stuff. This is what you should be doing. I'm just gonna kick Kerrigan away so I can do this a little bit more in peace. Destroy the towers, because that's the most important thing. Um, I'm just going to ignore the gate because the screw the gates. The gate uh, does not really give any XP to kill it, so I am just gonna ignore the gate. I'm gonna go for another tower. Get, get XP lead for your team by destroying the towers, and that's it. And you don't need to push further than the first set of turrets, especially this early in the game. So I'm just gonna take all the XP lead, and now I'm pretty much close to dead, so I'm gonna be just kicking that guy away because screw that and all that stuff. And I'm gonna destroy the gate, and can I destroy their uh, well? Yeah, let's get this well as well. That is good. Ouch. Got hit by Maradin's stun and got critterized and I'm probably gonna die here. Uh, yes, got out. Woo! Okay, there is Brightwing's mount ability at its finest. Uh, basically, Brightwing doesn't have a regular mount. It allows you to teleport to a friendly hero, hero. And now I have another teleport. I have Blink Heal. Let's give the shield to the Vala and then use Blink Heal. I really, really like Blink Heal, in all honesty. Especially combined with uh, the uh, Brightwing straight triggering every time uh, an ability is used, because Blink Heal has two charges, and let's get us ourselves another mercenary camp, like so. Right, now you've seen me use Bribe on this map a few times. This is what I really enjoy on um, using this, using Bribe on this map. Uh -huh. I am here! Brightwing comes! And helps uh, out do stuff. Let's, let's see if we can body block that. Yes! Got the Marlin skill, uh, kill. Let's also uh, destroy the walls. Because walls are evil. Now, uh, the reason to destroy the walls is because they give extra vision to the enemy team. Because they, it's their structure, after all. They can see what the walls is. And also, having those out of the way gives a little bit of movement ability for the um, team. You know, because there are no walls in the way. Uh, let's see if we can take this mercenary camp if I would get some help. I don't want to do that alone and I don't have bribe stacks to take two of them. Alright. Uh, blink heal. Blink heal. So, um, another really good choice uh, as opposed to taking this talent which activates the Brightwing's trait when, uh, let's, uh, sprint or face shield. Um... Uh, oh, face shield. All right. All right. I like face shield, but sprint is usually also really good because it is just outright freaking mobility, and mobility is good to have. All right. Face shield though can really, really turn fights on the other side of the map. All right. Cool. Are we getting um, getting dragon knight? Get dragon knight. 
If we can get the second Dragon Knight, we are getting pretty good to stuff. And whoa, very nice. And I am here. And then there is uh, Sylvanas coming back. All right. Nope. Critalize that and run away. So as I was about to say, um, there is another uh, talent to take in place of the talent which makes your... Um, I can never... Uh, those two have so similar names that I can never remember which one is which, so I'm not gonna even try. So, there is a talent which uh, makes it so that the trait becomes activatable heal around Brightwing. So it basically it heals in an area around Brightwing, heals all allies. And that is also a really, really good talent. But with Blink Heal and it having multiple charges, it is really easy to with a Brightwing to, um, let's just say, see, like so. Uh, it is very easy with Brightwing to actually save teammates because you can trigger that heal uh, so so often by spamming blink heal basically So there is that I, I really like the combo and I have one bribe stack again and so forth But Brightwing is one of those heroes where you have to be really aware, aware of what is happening on the map because uh, your mount ability can absolutely win ca games can win any single engagement if you use it correctly and you come into an engagement to turning a well 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 uh, turning a maybe one engagement into an actually fully one engagement now let's use bribe again hey hey that's the third time we have used bribe successfully so that is three um three three uh, mercenary camps which we have uh, taken and I just wanted to ensure that the Vala is uh Alive and uh, pick uh, level 16, pick, uh, pick a grit rise, which makes it so that anything which I happen to turn with polymorph into a creature ends up taking more damage. That is very, very nice, especially since uh, I have a lot of damage dealers on the team. They can probably all take advantage of it. And well, polymorph uh, alone is enough in many cases to actually win a team fight you use polymorph on a correct target and you can absolutely win a team fight all right hello there there was the uh the critter eyes in action and all that's the jazz and whatnot right so now i am kind of aimlessly uh walking back and forth and here i come don't 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 die don't die i i got you and Critterize that dude and all that stuff and uh, don't have don't don't think I can I can save you anymore. Oh, I can go go run away. Don't engage again, please. Just wow. All right. Then, like I said, uh, uh, just a short moment ago, a brightwing can uh, utterly change the course of uh, well losing and winning team fights by simply coming from another side of the map. To join whatever fight happens to be going on so that is uh, that is awesome and also uh, when you get the dragon knight um if you are in a team fight situation like this don't hang around just run away from the enemy teams and whatnot you can just get away it's like go into another lane and d deal with towers and stuff well i guess i am going here to deal with towers and stuff then because the dragon knight is at least keeping them busy so that is one for us, we for it is now ours. Okay, uh, blink heal, blink heal. Whoa, <laughs> what, the, what the places? All right, so uh, that was a bit of a misclick of mine. I didn't remember I had that uh, uh, part of the map saved. All right. Anyways, anyways, let's uh, destroy uh, walls because walls are bad and evil and whatnot, and they should be broken. All right, let's take the other one down too, because just, just, just for a good measure, destroy all the walls. All right. In essence, that wall being destroyed is kind of bad for uh, for my team when you think about it. You know, that was kind of close uh, Hearthstone there. Anyways, uh, because it gives a shorter distance run to the enemy team to actually get to the top uh, shrine. So there is that. That is kind of nice. I'm gonna bl blink heal. Blink heal. Right. I do realize Emerald Wind, the other heroic for Brightwing, is typically overall much better. It allows you to win team fights much better and so forth. 
but I just happen to really like blink heal and I am a mobility kind of guy so it's like having blink heal is awesome and stuff and ugh, I, I'm gonna die here no I know I, I got out and now can I, can I there okay there is um the other right wing happens to have the emerald wind and that pushed me away from using critterize in a really good fashion and why didn't i critterize the incoming enemies because when you cast something your character stops moving to play off the casting animation and i would have been caught and you know slaughtered so i had to keep moving sometimes it is not a good idea to cast something when you are being chased it is better to keep moving and the only ability which really saved me well, there was the ability to blink heal blink heal okay blink heal yeah i i am here i'm still here oh well but hey we got the bright wing oh that, that was a very bad freaking ability by me Ugh. apparently suck at this arcane barrage business but man blink heal is fun all right now i have enough uh bribe stacks again and as you can see i am kind of what is that why why was one of them beaten down what anyway ha had i forgotten somehow to pick the whole camp again i have no clue anyways what the heck but uh, as you can see i am pretty uh, often basically all the time burning my uh, bribe stacks on taking uh, the siege camp of their side of the map because well uh, it's easy and fast to steal their camp with uh, uh with bribe so instead of having to hang around there and fight for it because that would suck and then get caught and killed and then they take the camp which i worked hard to get so yeah so far this is kind of nice and close game i am really enjoying that granted we have a couple more extra um towers of theirs like done than they have of ours but oh well I guess we can push this with the Zeratol. Uh, there is the right wing. The right wing is using Critter Eyes. And I am coming. Because I wanted to make sure that Maradin didn't die. Right. Because uh, having people die is really bad. Alright. It, it, it's usually not a good idea to have. Oh, I am here. And I didn't have my polymorph in time. Oh, I am sorry. That was a mistake. He should have been dead because I should have been had a polymorph. And I am here. Link heal. Hello! Now I have Polymorph and now we have Dread, Dread Brightwing. And I have another Blink heal. Blink to the Zeratul. Alright, cool. Fan freaking tastic. Okay, so um, I suppose Vala hangs around there. We can see if we can get bot, bot uh, this thing and I'll hang, just hang around because uh, Kerrigan is over there and whatnot. Can I. Do I need to come cha uh, save Vala? No, I don't. Cool, she got it. Fantastic. Right, now let's see where she poses with it. The well only done. annoying part about taking bribe on this map is also this uh, bad, which happens to be the fact that um, when the Dragon Knight spawns, if you don't have a camp leashed, as in you are not fighting a mercenary camp, the mercenaries do vanish for, that, uh, for the time being. So there is that. And I need to uh, not stand in that. So, whatever. Alright. And obviously I cannot heal the Dragon Knight because that would be overpowered as heck. So, I cannot do that. I have no reason to burn my blink heal on it. But I'll burn my blink heal on Zeratul to give Zeratul some extra HP. And why not we'll start uh, getting the second stack for the blink heal again. Because once you have two stacks, you might as well get the same st stack in there. Critter eyes and lots of dead dudes and destroy the walls because walls are still evil and nasty and why not hey wow they were really aggressive coming one by one into us and then there is more dudes coming uh, in very small amount to us oh that, that's kind of secures us a very nice lead here oh can i can i yes critterize it fantastic job by the zeratul on that chase i love that and that's how you kill stuff with Brightwing on, you know, Critterizing. And now we are gonna br bright their mercenary camp again. Their siege camp is now ours. And I'm gonna join Muradin here in mid lane. And I'm gonna blink. But the problem of doing that is obviously, um, now if they paid attention, they saw where Zeratul is. 
you can see the blur, but because I used my ability on Zeratol, the, it obviously clearly shows them where he is on the map. So that is a bit of an issue, right? And so, uh, a tip for anyone who happens to be playing with a ste with stealthed hero on your team, don't use abilities on them while they are in stealth. Uh, well, majority of the time anyways, I wanted to make sure the Zeratul has health there. But um, majority of the time, uh, doing so is really a bad idea when you are in the viewing range of the enemy. Whoa, a little bit of lag spike. What? Okay, anyways, anyways. Let's keep this fight going. Let's save, uh, save dudes and... What not? Uh, can I, can I, can I get in, get in range? Oh, man, I got stunned. Ouch. Run away, run away. I got, I got blink. I got blink. I can blink and I can blink again in four seconds. All right, uh, get destroyed. that, get that. Get, need, need mana, need mana. Thankfully, Brightwing is not crazily mana uh, hungry hero. It's not that hard to maintain your mana even later in the game. I'm just gonna blink heal and heal the Zeratul while he was visible anyways. Let's uh, grab these things, uh, get some more mana and health going. And we are kind of pushing down their core at this point. This is probably gonna secure us the game. I would guess so because they have dead dudes. They have dead carry guns and stuff. And well, their team is kind of uh, getting smacked into pieces here. Uh, could have rewinded, but not really necessary. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. That was some Brightwing action for Support Sunday. That was rather entertaining. Victory!